Spina bifida is the abnormality of the spine. It occurs when the baby's spine and the spinal cord do not develop properly in the uterus, causing a gap in the spine. Spina bifida is a type of neural tube defect. The neural tube is the structure that eventually develops into baby's brain and spinal cord. There are four types of spina bifida. These are meningomyelocele, meningocele, spina bifida occulta, and closed spina bifida. Meningomyelocele is the most severe type, and here the baby's spinal canal remain open along with the several vertebra in the back, allowing the spinal cord and the membranes that surround it to push out and form a sac in the baby's back. Meningocele is the second type in which the membranes around the spinal cord or meninges push out through a defect in the spine, but the spinal cord usually develop normally so that the surgery can often be used to remove the membrane without damaging the nerves. Spina bifida occulta is the most common and the mildest type of spina bifida. Here one or more vertebrae are not formed properly, but the gap in the spine is very small. It doesn't usually cause any problem and most of the people are unaware that they have it. Closed spina bifida consists of diverse group of defects in which the spinal cord is marked by malformation of the fats, bones or meninges. In most of these with a closed spine bifida, there are few or no symptoms. However, in few, the malformation can cause incomplete paralysis with urinary and bowel dysfunction. What is the exact cause of spina bifida? The exact cause is unknown, but a number of factors can increase the risk of baby developing this condition. These include low folic acid intake during pregnancy, secondly, having a family history of spina bifida, thirdly, the medications. Taking certain medications during pregnancy has been linked to an increased risk of having a baby with a spina bifida. Can spina bifida happen again? The incidence of the spina bifida, which is a part of abnormality, collecting collectively known as neural tube defect, vary with the age, race, geographical location, and several other predisposing factors. The incidence in USA is about 1 to 2 per, per thousand. The incidence in UK is about 4 to 8 per thousand. With folic acid fortification, the incidence has reduced to 25%. The risk of recurrence is tenfold without any intervention. How is spina bifida managed in pregnancy? It is managed by doing regular ultrasound scans. Some women may opt for termination of the pregnancy. Pregnant ladies are referred to the fetal medicine consultant who will rescan the baby to make sure there are no other associated abnormalities. How is the baby delivered? If there are no other complications and baby is lying the right way, there is no reason that the patient cannot deliver normally. However, if there are additional complications, patient may have cesarean section as the delivery option. Spina bifida on its own is not an indication of cesarean section. Can spina bifida be prevented next time? Higher dose of the folic acid is prescribed to those women who are at higher risk of developing the neural tube defects. And those women include the one having family history of neural tube defect a partner with a family history of neural tube defect. Diabetes mellitus, the patient taking anti-epileptic medications, etc. Spina bifida is one of the fetal anomalies. Here we have list of other fetal anomalies as well, which include an encaphaly, the hydrocephalus, spina bifida, which we have explained here in this video, encaphalocele, the cardiac anomalies, renal anomalies, GIT anomalies, the torch infections, twin pregnancy, abnormal local translucency which occurs in down syndrome epilepsy associated abnormalities diabetes associated abnormalities the different drugs cystic hygroma omphalocele gastrochesis exemphalos congenital diaphragmatic hernia meningomyelocele duodenal hernia chorite plexus cyst ecogenic bowels holoprosen gaffley ventriculum agali congenital pulmonary airway malformation, cleft lip and cleft palate, pedal hydrops, duodenal atresia, the carry malformation, and the Porter syndrome. Here we can see the holoprosen gaffley ultrasound features. Here, hydrocaphalic baby can be seen. Here we have spina bifida on the back of a baby. This is in cephalocele. Fetal cardiac anomalies, fetal renal anomalies, fetal GIT anomalies and the Porter syndrome.
so thank you so much that was all about spina bifida and certain other fetal anomalies subscribe on obstetrics alhafiz